them hard. Those guys are running. We need to keep up the pressure. Come on, come on. Under pressure. The enemy general is routing. You. Yes, you. Good. You won't object to us running him down, then. It will save him his honor. Now, who the bloody hell is shooting? Oh! You did come back. It would appear I was wrong. Works for me. I'm so very glad that I swapped over the ancillaries, though, because hopefully this guy will have a better chance of uh, retrieving some losses. They are hitting their own men, though, which is good. I'm not so pleased about how much our units have been hit, though. But we'll get over it. Come on, come on. Oh, got the general. Nice. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Well, one of the enemy generals is dead. The other one is there, I think. Yeah, that's him. We may have to fight him in a minute. Hit these guys. Seriously. But we've done well. We've done really, really well, actually. 90% of their force is dead. Just dead. Peltusts, Sacred Band Cavalry. If he hits us, that could be very, very bad. I really want to get rid of those scorpions. How about you guys? You guys are just hanging out, playing Nintendo. Hang out over here and play Nintendo instead. No, no, tight. There we go. Hang out over there and play Nintendo. You guys, get over here. And you, Hastati, get over here too. Are you not going to, you know, chase him? That would be helpful. What are you? Peltists. Meh. Yeah, I've got the feeling these guys are going to get away for the most part. But, try anyway. Alright, infantry, I don't need you doing that anymore, really. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to form you up here, just in case General McGeneralson over there gets any funky ideas about what he can and can't do now that the battle is lost. I get the feeling we're going to have to face him in a minute. Are these Phoenix skirmishes? Yeah. Goodbye. Who the hell are you firing at? I didn't even know you still had javelins, but, uh, okay. Good job. Yeah. They're all super tired, but... We've reduced the force, his entire force, to these mercenary hoplites, these peltists, and that heavy cav. That is what he's got effective. So we're gonna march over here and retake, and take out those, uh... Scorpions, just so that, you know, if in the unlikely event somebody returns and tries to man them, they will have nothing to man them with. You, I need you to put in that last little bit of effort, thank you, gentlemen. It must be done. Go. Murder. Murder. Yeah, I think we're going to have to face him. But... Oh, hang on. No, he's coming in by himself. You're going to get it. Charge! Yeah, you hit him hard, but we're hitting you back. Victory seems certain my ass. Wavering, wavering. Horn toot. Enemy general is routing. To fill the heart of the enemy general with fear. Now no. The field like no, we had a chance to get him and we missed. Chase him. See if you can't get him anyway. You guys, you need to hit him in the side. 
Charge. Attack, attack. Oh, they're running. All right, well, Italian Cav, help. Yeah, he got away, but he's going to die. So that's okay. Oh, hey! No, he didn't get away. He's back. Nine. Oh, we should be all right. Send our cavalry to help anyway. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 19. Whack. Where's General McGeneralson? Oh, he's right there. Tuck! Charge! Shaken. Dead. Kill these guys. That unit disbands in a minute. Kizma That guy. He's dead. What happens if you face Rome, boys? You die. You die a horrible death. Alright, well. You have crushed the enemy. Heroic victory. So, we lost... Ooh, less than 400 men, it looks like. Uh, my math is probably wrong. I'm, I'm not very good at math. No, no, I was probably actually right, because uh, 64 casualties returned, 59 casualties returned. Good lord. Yeah. Yeah, that, that Merson, that uh, ancillary swap was a really, really good one. You've crushed the enemy. The enemy is crushed. Now, my fear is that because we did crush the enemy so bloody hard, Victory! is that now that, we in, now that we've occupied this, where did his other army go? Yeah, yeah it's, it's probably going to go for our soft, squishy interior. This is going to hurt. Yeah, it's going for our soft, squishy interior. Um, we are going to kill them all. I was worried it crashed there for a sec. And the reason we're going to do that is because we should be able to get this army back over here. Yeah, he can only cross there. So if we camp out the army there, there we go. Site of famous battle. Cassius Cornelius Lentulus. Loser Captain Himilco. The Republic of Carthage. Now, do you have an army? You do not. But, now we have a port that we can base our ships in that is closer, which is good, because now we can go explore and make sure that they're not actually bringing any troops over, and we can kill them, hopefully, before they get here. So, we've taken most of the eastern half of the island, which is good. We're raising more troops, which is also good. I'm going to place... Yeah, I want to see what sort of a general this fellow is. He is... Very good, unfortunately. Is he good at attacking? Not particularly. He's good at not getting ambushed, but he's not particularly good at attacking. Actually, did our boy... Cornelius pick up anything. He's a superior commander. No awesome traits for being awesome? Well, he's a good defender. I, I guess that's something. Alright, well. They're not really leaving us much choice in the matter. We sort of have to march our man Cornelius over here, but we can provide him with a few reinforcements. Probably not many, because we're going to have to march over here. I could survive putting a token force into Agrigento, though, and then losing it. I could live with this. It wouldn't be what I wanted, but I could live with it. Does this provide any um, good troops? No. No troops for you, either. You only provide Peltasts. 
Yeah, I'm I'm actually okay with losing this city. If need be. So I'm going to... He doesn't need skirmishes. What he does need is some good hard-hitting infantry. And yeah, we've got good hard-hitting infantry, but I'd rather have a little bit more. So I'm going to move absolutely everybody over there. Now can you get back across? You can. So I'm going to move... You... Hmm. Basically everyone except the hoplites in there. Okay, so they're happy. They're happy-ish. They could be happier, but they're happy-ish. You need to send some good infantry. And these fellas in there. Now they're happy. You need to move your troops. Actually, how many slots do you have available? You've got three slots available. sort of need that cav. Yeah, we kind of need that cavalry. We also sort of need these guys retrained. Can we get anything good? Not really. Mm. Do you have any veterans? No. Mm. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna give Quintus... Oh, I can't give Quintus that. Not enough movement points. No movement points, actually. Alright. I'm going to put the cavalry in Syracuse. And we're going to take that infantry. Okay, good. Good. That's, uh, that's not exactly what I'd like. But our veterans have... Good fighting capabilities. And now we've got a bit more heavy infantry. So he's got some good troops to back him up. This guy has a lot, but he doesn't have any heavy cav except for his generals, and he doesn't have any elephants or anything really, really, really worrisome. So I'm okay with this. I'm actually fine with this. You need to rebase to Syracuse. Okay, so actually, before, before we do anything else, let's have a look at that graph. This faction ranking scroll. So where's Carthage? There they are. Oh, that is a big dip. <laughs> that is a big dip right there. So military ranking. Oh, oh son. Oh son. You ha you had actually quite a lot of superiority over us there, but you just lost a lot of it. This is going to hurt you a lot more than it hurts me. <laughs> oh, this is good. All right, so we built paved roads in Bononia. We're not going to invest anything in, uh, not Syracuse, uh, Ag Agrigento at the moment because there's not really much point in doing so. So we're going to begin a phase two auxilia here. I'd really like to get these veterans back too, or at least some of them. I guess we don't have to worry too much. We're building a new army, so we can send them down in a minute. Resistance is futile and aggregento. Normally I wouldn't bother exterminating at this point, but it provided a good boost of money right now. And because there's less people there, they're less likely to rebel against our rule which means we can have a smaller garrison force sitting in here while we deal with this big behemoth under Hamilcar. Actually, this has some legitimate people in this, you know, obviously, as we've seen. I wonder if this is meant to be Hamilcar Barker, but it's the wrong spelling. Hmm. It is entirely possible. Who else has he got with him? Tabnit and Yutpan. Intriguing. Hmm. Well, three turns until this auxilia is finished. I'm gonna recruit you a unit of Peltasts anyway. Even though you don't really need them, Peltasts are still better than nothing. They provide you with numbers. So hopefully if he was going for a soft Italian underbelly, he's not going to make it, he's either going to turn around and face off against this city, or continue on, face off against me, or continue on and face off against Syracuse, in which case, the bloody hell was that? It appears that there's a storm outside my house. <laughs> um, so yeah, he's got three options basically, backtrack, attack, or attack. Or he can choose none of them and try to reinforce Masana and Lilibalm, but... Whichever one he takes is going to be detrimental in some way. So, we're a quick save. 
Am I going to... How long have we been recording for? Eh, yeah, it's okay. We'll continue. Might do another cliffhanger. He did nothing. That wasn't an option that I was thinking he was going to take, but he did nothing instead of doing something. Not the worst in the world. We'll just set them to low tax rate. All is good. Begin building our auxilia. Ah, the Greeks are putting a hand into this. It would be nice if we could get an alliance or something with them, but I highly doubt they'd give us one. Can you make it over here and just make sure they're not building any more armies? Or if they are building armies, they're not bringing them. No, it doesn't look like they are. I don't see any pirates either, so I'm going to turn around and take this guy out. Victory! Sploosh! Exactly, that's what I said. Um, head back to the docks. Aye, aye, Captain. So we've got some more troops being recruited, and Krona's got some Prinkapes coming out. Capua do has them too. Eronum and Rome are providing troops for the cause. How much money are we currently making a turn? It says 3k. That's actually pretty good. Tarentum now has a Hippodrome, but they're not large enough to get uh, the next barracks yet, so that's okay. Yeah, they're not large enough to even get auxilia phase um, 3. That's alright. They're making a fair bit of uh, money. They're making a fair bit of... Good lord! Well now, that's definitely not what I was expecting them to do. Batavium has finished auxilia phase 1. I'm going to go with Rhodes first and then phase 2. Because I'd rather have good uh, transportation connections. The Germans... Hello. Looks like they're pushing in a bit on the on the Gauls as well. The Gauls captured Massilla. Hmm. So we've got an agent found in Genu Genunisius, that place, and we've got a new family member. Marcus the Cripple got married. Titus Aemilius Scorus got a priest of Mars. Good job. Uh, it's bit late for you, I should think, but uh, good job. We still made a profit from last turn as well, so that's actually quite good. Are you guys creating more troops still? Yes, and yes. Hmm. This is a problem. Because we can't really march out to meet him, but we can't really retreat away from him either. The best we can really do is stand off. Because he can't get across here. But he knows, well I assume he knows, that if we make, if he makes a move, we can back whoever it is up that he attacks, because we've got the movement points to do so. Okay. I'm surprised that this guy hasn't been promoted yet. He's been doing his military service. He's been kicking ass. Damn, son. It is going to be tragic when he dies. It really is. Okay. I'm tempted to try sending people back for retraining. Because it would be nice to be able to retrain our Prinkapes, well, the really, really badly hit ones anyway. These Hastati, these Prinkapes, these Hastati. Yeah, but I don't think we can make it back. I don't think he'd let us. Hmm. It's annoying that we have to let them dictate our moves, essentially, but this is the price of war. We'll retrain all of those, though. Why not? Seeing as they're sitting there. Okay, well, we could always start moving these reinforcements down. But the main reason we were able to win that last battle, despite being outnumbered that much, was because we had veterans. This... this might not end as well. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to turn again. See what he does. I didn't hear a settlement of the siege or anything like that, so he obviously did nothing. Just sat there again. Just sat there again. Alright, we'll fleet. Go and go on patrol. You see anything? No, but now you can't get back. 
Hmm. Carthago has troops. I get the feeling that they sort of threw this in as an all or nothing approach. And the fact that we destroyed one of their massive armies has really put a dent in their whole attacking, attacking places plan. I suspect if we'd lost that battle, we would be trying to fight them off from Pastum and Croton and Tarentum and all those places. I doubt we could have hurt them enough to face them off. Okay, well... You can chuck you in there with Admiral Amulius, even though you can't really do anything. Because one more set of ships is one more set of ships, and it'll help. Every little bit helps. So you've now got a Roman Auxilia phase 1, get the walls, and then phase 2. Cool. Cool. Everything's going pretty damn well, if I do say so myself. Got... We've got a sizable force here that we can march down and use to reinforce this one. I'm tempted. I'm very, very tempted to send him to attack this fella because he hasn't got any defensive talent, I don't think. I'm pretty sure all of his were just, he's good at doing stuff. Yeah, he was good at doing stuff. If need be, I'm pretty sure that good old Cassius has the Night Fighter talent too. He does, he has Night Fighter. So he can fight in the night and prevent this guy from reinforcing, which I'm suspecting is the reason that this fellow's hanging out here, because he can get these hoplites to come help. Hmm. Very, very tempted to just get more men. Quintus is still chugging along, though. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. He's just chugging along. Nice. Alright, well, I think I'm going to call this set to a close right now. And then in the next one, we're going to uh, take the fight to Carthage. I think we're going to have to face Hamilcar in the field. I'd rather not. I guess we could try and um, besiege Masana. And see if he comes and attacks us there, but um, yeah, this this is troubling. But uh, I'm pretty sure that this will be an episode that goes up with another one. So I might leave off recording for a couple of days, and you guys can you know tell me what you'd like to see me try. I think yeah, that sounds like a good plan to me. You guys tell me what you'd like to see me try, and uh, I shall see you then. But until then, this is Grey Hunter signing out, and I shall bid you all adieu, and thank you for watching.